The, the process is slightly different for a woman who has cancer um, and uh, when compared to someone who's electively preserving their fertility. And the reason is a couple things. One is that the timeline for a cancer patient is often a fast one. Many times I'm meeting somebody with a really recent diagnosis of breast cancer is probably the most common um, and we know that she needs to head into chemotherapy within maybe two to four weeks. So our timeline is a short one and we move quickly into the stimulation um, and, and preparation of the ovaries to basically harvest the eggs prior to that process. Um, the other difference is that a lot of breast cancers are estrogen receptor and progesterone receptor positive. So when we do in vitro fertilization, we make estrogen levels typically rise um, four to, to ten times the normal endogenous body level. Um, and so when someone has a cancer in place that could be responsive to that estrogen, we need to use extra medicines to lower one's estrogen during the stimulation so that it's still a safe opportunity. Um, and so we do do that with some extra medicine called letrozole, which is an anti-estrogen uh, type of drug which helps us to limit the estradiol levels and still get the same number of eggs. Um, and it, so it keeps the process safer uh, and data has been shown that um, it doesn't limit the number of eggs for patients and it doesn't, doesn't appear so far to change their breast cancer um, prognosis.